In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how and also when to switch between different DDS implementations with ROS2. Okay, and we're gonna see mostly with Fast DDS and Cyclone DDS. All right, so here I'm on the documentation page for ROS2 with the different DDS implementation. Okay, if you see RMW, it means ROS middleware. All right, that's the that's, uh, abbreviation they use for ROS middleware because DDS is at the middleware level. So here I'm not gonna talk about DDS in details, but just show you, well, the different versions and how we can change between them. So by default, we have fast DDS. That's the one that is already installed for you. That's the one that you are running by default. And the thing is, well, we have not just fast DDS, but we have actually here, for example, four different DDS implementations. And so fast DDS should work fine because anyway, that's the default DDS version for ROS2, but why should you actually change between different DDS implementations? Well, actually, let's say you are using a stack like Navigation2, and you may have some stuff like this. Like this is an issue for the Navigation2 uh, that, well, it may be resolved when you see the video or not, but you can see that, well, this is a, a message to say that, the current nav2 humble binaries for navigation are not safe to use with fast DDS. And what they are recommending here is to switch to Cyclone DDS, okay? So just an example that well, with some stacks and some tools, uh, the default DDS might not work properly. And here they say you need to switch to Cyclone DDS. If I go to move it, so maybe you are using move it for robotic arms, I'm on the ROS2 humble installation page here, and you can see that they also recommend Cyclone DDS. So they don't recommend to use Fast DDS, but Cyclone DDS, okay? So by default, we are using Fast DDS, but for Move It and for Navigation 2, they recommend to use Cyclone DDS as for now, okay? That's when I record the video. Of course, if it's in six months, in one year, in five years, then it may be different. And here I'm not saying you should use this DDS or that DDS, okay? I'm just showing you that you might need to change between them because of some issues with some stacks, with some tools, etc. So you will need to maybe use a different DDS than the default one. And so how to do that? Well, you see we have here, that's gonna be the name of the package, all right? And so we will need to first install a DDS. So we already have this one, so fast DDS, that's gonna be fast RTPS, it's already installed. But let's say now we want to install Cyclone DDS. So I'm gonna open a terminal and I'm gonna do sudo apt install and I'm just gonna install it like I would install a ROS package. So ROS with humble here, because I'm using humble, rmw dash, and if I press tab twice here, you can see I have all of the possible packages here and we find Connext DDS, we find uh, Fast RTPS, we find Gurum DDS, and also Cyclone DDS here. And the one we need is this one, Cyclone DDS CPP. You can see that's the package here, just using underscores instead of dashes. So let's go with Cyclone DDS CPP, and let's install this one. All right, and I've already installed it before, but for you, it's gonna install it. And now that you have installed the uh, DDS, it's not all because you need to actually set it up, okay? Just like when you install a ROS2, you need to set up the environment by sourcing a bash script. Here with uh, DDS, you also need to set it up. Otherwise, it's still using the default DDS. And so to do this, we are going to actually need to export an environment variable. I'm gonna just go to my bash RC directly, okay? So you go to your bash RC where you have already, so you should already have this. You should already have this first line with source slash opt slash ROS and then the distribution and then setup.bash. Uh, then I'm sourcing a workspace and I'm sourcing auto completion for Colcon, but that's the most, the first line is the most important here. And what I'm gonna do is, well, it doesn't really matter, but just before I'm gonna do export rmw underscore implementation and I'm going to put the name that I see here. So that's gonna be RMW Cyclone DDS CPP. So let's go back here. RMW Cyclone DDS CPP. All right, and now I can save the bash RC. I can quit 
and I'm gonna make sure that I also close the terminal and I open a new terminal. And now I should be using Cyclone DDS. Okay, to make sure of that, you can do a print env with, let's do grape ROS, and actually not ROS, but RMW. And you can see, so we are using ROS2 and RMW implementation. We have this RMW Cyclone DDS CBB. And so there is nothing else to do. You just know that if you have this environment variable here, it's gonna use this DDS implementation for everything that you launch. And it's also important that you use the same DDS, okay, for different nodes that you start in one application. That's very important. So to recap, all you have to do is just to install the package, set an environment variable, and then, well, by just changing this environment variable, you can switch between DDS implementations. Thank you for watching. Now subscribe here to get more tutorials in the future. Also, check out my online courses if you like what I teach. Links in the description. And see you in the next one.